Dan Plasma, FCFighter.com, here with one of the great coaches, Robert Garcia. How's it going, sir? Doing good, thank you. I wanted to talk to you about the upcoming mega fight. I had a chance to talk to Nonito Donaire about it tonight, and he was saying that Pacquiao might give Mayweather a problem in the early rounds. Do you think that's true? I, I think he is. Uh, not only in the early rounds. I think he uh, he has uh, everything to give him problems throughout the fight. I'm not I'm not saying he's 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 going to win the fight, but he will give Mayweather problems. Why hasn't Mayweather taken the fight for the last two years? Look, I I, I think uh, this fight. Uh, a lot of people might think it, it's it's five years, six years, a little bit too late. I I believe this fight is going to be more exciting that we would have than the fight that we would have seen five or six years ago. Uh, both fighters are not the same anymore. They're not as fast. They're not as strong as they were five year, five or six years ago. So they've slowed down a little bit. Uh, so that makes the fight a little bit more interesting because Mayweather won't be able to box the way he used to box. So that gives that gives Pacquiao the chance of being the aggressor and being able to give the fans uh, a great fight. Do you think that still uh, Pacquiao style, that swarming style, will play right into Mayweather's tactics? You know, it depends on how Pacquiao fights. You know, Pacquiao tries to fight, fight very aggressive and throw, throwing a lot of punches and and moving side to side. That 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 sure will give uh, Mayweather problems. But if, if if Pacquiao wants wants to fight uh, on the on the outside and try to counter Mayweather, then that does, he's going to have trouble doing that. You know, uh, it depends on what kind of fight Pacquiao comes in and brings brings for us. Has Mayweather any, ever faced anybody like that? I mean, there is nobody like that. Look, he's never faced anybody like that. Because I've already said, you know, getting ready for for Pacquiao is so hard. Because you can't find nobody. You can't find anybody that fights like Pacquiao. You know, you could find fighters that fight similar to Mayweather, but you can't find fighters that fight that fight uh, similar to uh, to Pacquiao. So, so that that's interesting to see. You know, what kind of fight Pacquiao brings. You know, he puts such immense pressure, he's such an aggressive fighter, but he's really not a body puncher. Is he going to be able to wear Mayweather down? Well, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Roach is training him to go to the body because he needs to go to the body in this fight. Uh, Mayweather is very defensive upstairs. You know, he uses his shoulders a lot to to uh, to prevent face opponents from from hitting him. So I think I, I think he's going to he's going to come out with with uh, with a good game plan to throw a lot to go a lot to the body. What do you think about this crazy new format, this new promotion? They got a new ring, they got all these celebrities around here, and all these uh, pretty decent fighters in there. What do you think? I think it's great. You know, I think I think BKB is doing something uh, something new, something different, and something that's 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 getting the attention of a lot of uh, big time promoters and a lot of big time names. You know, you're getting you getting fighters like Rosado and and uh, Curtis Stevens, uh, Soto Caraz now doing this. Uh, I'm sure in the next in the next BKB we're gonna have a couple other big names that are going to be involved because you know right now boxing has has uh, has HBO or has Showtime uh, uh, there's 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 so many fighters that that uh, that BKB is giving the opportunity so they could come and shine you know they're going out on pay-per-view we're, we're getting women back boxing back on on the big stage which is which is good for boxing it is. I want to get back to the uh, to the Rosado fight. It was 66-66 on two judges' cards and 69-66 on one judges' card. Do you think it should have been ruled a draw? Uh, you know what? It it, it was it was a good call, you know, to call it a draw. Just the fact that it was a very close fight and 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 it, it calls for a rematch. Uh, I think uh, Curtis Stevens' uh, first time in the pit was was a little awkward for him. Uh, he seemed a little awkward in the first couple of rounds. So that. Could have given him that disadvantage. Rosado had already done it before. I think in a rematch it would be it would be a lot closer fight. Maybe maybe giving the edge to Curtis Stevens. But in this fight, I thought it was close enough to call it for a draw. Me and my scorecards, I I actually thought I actually had a uh, uh, gave Rosado winning by one by one round. But uh, but it was you know it was it was still uh, the rounds were so close that it could have gone either way. So I think it was it was uh, the draw was a good call. Is Stevens having an identity crisis in terms of his style? I mean, he's like this uh, this one hitter quitter. I saw him throw maybe two or three combinations the entire fight. And uh, you know, considering what happened with his last fight, is uh, does he have potential for greatness? He's got a big disadvantage, you know. He he's he's very strong physically, but he uh, he's he looks like he's too tight. Also, he just throws one punch at a time. He can throw four or five punch combinations, and he's also very short for his division. He's a he's a lot he's a lot shorter than most of his opponents. You know, I think that could benefit him in the pit because it's a small round pit that uh, that could ben benefit him. But uh, but uh, you know, in the long run, you know, if his dream is to continue fighting in boxing, you know, he just needs to let go of his punches more. You know, I think I think his trainer needs to train him to throw more more combinations and and try to be more aggressive than than what he did in this fight 
I know it's old news, but I just have to ask an old question because I'm a good friend of Freddie's. What happened with that whole incident with the kicking and everything? Look, that you know, it, it, in reality, you know, I, I always I admired and respected what, what they've accomplished, especially with Manny Pacquiao. What he's doing with Cotto right now is something that, you know, nobody thought he would ever do with somebody like Cotto. Cotto was already look, looking like he should be retiring. Now he's he's had... How did he give legs to Cotto? I can't believe that. He's boxing now. Not only, not only, not only did he give legs, you know, he gave, he gave uh, everything that Coro needed, you know, he, he's had some great wins since he's been with, with Freddie, you know, honestly, you know, though, though, though that situation there, I think it was all planned out by, by top rank, you know, giving me that time to train in the morning and Freddie Roach right behind me, you know, I think it was all a set up and, and it happened, you know, Freddie got a little upset, but, you know, honestly, you know, honestly, I don't have no hard feelings or anything, anything against Freddie. What's coming up in your future? Well, right now, you know, we're staying busy. We got so many fighters fighting. You know, we we got fighters every weekend fighting. You know, next weekend I'm in I'm in Laredo, Texas, with uh, one of my uh, one of my uh, Russian fighters. Uh, uh, he's going to be fighting in uh, in in Laredo, Texas. So, you know, we're just busy. You know, uh, next month we're gonna uh, in May we're gonna have my two uh, featherweight champions defending their titles. One of them, Jesus Cuellar, will be defending uh, uh, his title, uh, his WBA title, and looks like he's gonna be in Miami. And then the next day, I got Gradovich fighting in defending his title in, uh, in London, in England. So, so, you know, we're going to be busy in the next couple of months. Wonderful, man. Thanks for your time. It's such an honor. Thank you.